299 wins, Cubs manager Dusty Baker said Maddox would surely reach 300 as long as he kept breathing. After Saturday's start against the Giants, Maddox can exhale. Cubs pitcher aiming to become just the 22nd man to get his 300th win. 23 and 14 for his career against the Giants. Bottom third, A.J. Przinski over Sammy Sosa's head. Eduardo Alfonso scores, and it's 3-0 Giants. Przinski, two for three in the ballgame. We move to the top of the fifth runner on first game tied at three, two outs. Derek Lee facing Brad Hennessy, and it's a straight shot off Hennessy. And you can make it a double. Aramis Ramirez coming around to score. Cubs take the fourth three lead to Maddox with some run support. Bottom five, one out, JT Snow. Right back to Maddox, and that's why he's won 13 gold gloves. Two away. Next batter, Barry. First pitch, well hit. But not quite well enough. Sammy able to track it down. Maddox now in line for the win. Bonds one for three in the ballgame. Top six. Maddox laying down the bunt. Apparently hurt his right forearm on the play. But he would stay in the game. Bottom six. Maddox leaves the game after five plus innings, giving up four runs on seven hits. Bottom nine now. Two outs. The Troy Hawkins facing your Vittorial. The Troy Hawkins fire. Oh, yes. Yes. win. And the 300 Club has a brand new member. It's Greg Maddox of the Chicago Cubs. Cubs take it 8-4 for Maddox's milestone win. His 200th came against the Giants. Now his 300th as well. After the game, he spoke with Carl Radford. It wasn't, you know, one of the better games you could pitch, but, uh, you know, it's one of those where you pitch just good enough to win. And, uh, you know, the teammates were outstanding. Uh, six runs, everybody in the bullpen got a chance to pitch, and uh, I mean, it's it was a total team effort, and uh, it seems like I'm getting all the credit for it, but uh, everybody played a part in the win today. There have been a number in which you deserved all the credit, and this one, getting some help for 300 wins, you realize over your career, you'll be responsible for some, and other teammates will be as well, right? Well, definitely. Uh, you know, you're only as good as the guys around you, and uh, yeah, I've played on some good teams. You know, I've played on some very good teams in the past, and this year's team is no exception. How difficult was it after you came out to wait and watch, see the Giants get men on? <laughs> well, you know, I've always never really worried a whole lot about what happens, you know, once I come out of the game, because it's kind of out of your control. But I think this one was a little bit different, because, uh, you know, there's so much going on between starts, and, you know, there's such an inconvenience and a burden put on your teammates and everything with, you know, everything going on. And, you know, it's nice to just put it behind us, and, you know, now we can focus on doing what it takes to get the postseason. We're not ready to put it behind us just yet. Here's more on Maddox and 300. A 22nd pitcher in history to make it. Fifth pitcher in history to win 300 before age 40. Fifth pitcher to earn his first and 300th wins with the same team. And we mentioned he's the second pitcher to win his 200th and 300th against the same team. The other was Grover Cleveland Alexander, also with the Cubs, also against the Giants. Carl rejoins us now with more on Maddox's big day. Try to watch the game and ice down, whatever. You know, I figured we weren't in our park. It wouldn't, you know, it's kind of not the, <laughs> the right thing to do. He wasn't on the bench. You know, he was inside, you know, like he always does. And uh, just business as usual for him. Greg Maddox has made a living by being anything but overpowering. His 300 wins have been combination, command, consistency, and perseverance. Saturday, he used all three. You can't put your own personal achievements ahead of the team, obviously, and, uh, you know, you do what you can to give your team the best chance to win, and that's it, you know? I mean, if you do that, you can pretty much sleep. You can sleep good at night when you do that. More than one-third of his 300 wins have come courtesy of complete games, including back-to-back -back efforts earlier this season. Saturday, the Braves outdid the brawn as Maddox was out in the sixth inning. A lot of guys come up with ideas, but his ideas seem to work every time, you know. Uh, and uh, again, you know, he's got a lot of, a lot, a lot of things that add up, uh, that uh, that make up for, you know, what is, what is, I guess, a lack of velocity and. Uh, and it just goes to show you, like I said, how, uh, how great he is and, and how great he's been for a long, long time. When I'm done playing, I'll look back and, you know, I'm sure I'll pat myself on the back then, but, you know, right now it's about my next start. Maddox is the 22nd pitcher in history to win 300 games. Only three others have gone on to the World Series the same year they accomplished that milestone. Roger Clemens last year, Steve Carlton, and Christy Mathewson, but none won the ring. For a man who preaches team before self, that would truly be a crowning achievement.
to a Hall of Fame career. In San Francisco, Carl Ravitch. He didn't make an appearance till the seventh. Jose Reyes, the drag, but Woody Williams down with the Pilgrims. That's a top play nominee. Worth another look. Williams, the full extension and the flip. Beauty. Bottom seven tight at one. Here comes Larry Walker into pinch hit. Gets a standing O and then sits down, courtesy of Chris Benson. You know what? They give him another standing O just for being in the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. Bottom nine tied at one. Walker a chance to win it, but they walk him to get to the rookie. Yaddy here, Molina. Yaddy here, get out of here. Bases loaded. Well, it's not out of here, but good enough for a walk-off single. Cardinals take it 2-1 over the Mets. Mets, they've lost eight straight versus teams with a record of 500. Braves and Diamondbacks from Arizona, the home team had lost 13 of 15 there. It's just not a good story in Arizona. Top third tied at one, two outs, two on. Edward Gonzalez facing Chipper Jones. Raphael for call scores. Here comes Marcus Giles as well. Chipper, 15 RBI in 22 games since the All-Star break. Paul Bird gets Luis Torero there. Bird, seven and a third, two earned runs, four strikeouts. Bottom eight, runner on third for Torero at bat with two outs, and Kevin Grabowski gets him. Torero struck out three times on the night. Braves going to win it. They won nine of 10, 17 and five since the break. On his first five starts since he was called up back in July. Top first, no score against the Jays. He brings up Alexis Rios. And later in the inning, two outs to Vernon Wells, and he got him on the check swing. Top second, El Duque facing Gabe Gross in his major league debut. Derek Jeter can't find it. So the ball ruled, the play ruled a single, and John Flaherty Gives Gross the keepsake on his first major league hit. Next batter, Duque gets Orlando Hudson swing, and then Kevin Cash as well. Nice. Duque struck out two batters in each of the first three innings. Bottom five, Bernie Williams. Base hit to score two. 1,100 RBIs now for Williams. He moves up to eighth place on the all-time Yankee list. Bottom seven, score now 6-0. John Flaherty facing Justin Spire. Flaherty pops out to Gross. Now, this is the third out, but all the, the rookies eager, ready to come home, but that retires aside. Yankees win at six zip. Jeff Playoff preview, Twins hosting Hudson and the A's. Hudson out since June 22nd. Lou Ford into the hole. Arrow on Corey Hunter started this highlight on second. Crosby's throw doesn't get Ford. And yes, Corey Hunter scoring. The Twins putting the fun in fundamentals. Hudson's not having too much fun. No glove and not showing any love right there. Johan Santana, all about the love. Hasn't lost in four starts, and he's dealing in the sixth. Marco Scudero, bye-bye. Eric Burns, not excellent. And Eric Chavez, just another victim. 10 Ks, ninth time this year he's had double-digit Ks. A's, though, load the bases in the seventh. Juan Rincon against Chavez. And Chris John Guzman says no problem. Easy sidearm toss. A's still down by one. Top nine, four, three, Twinkies, and Joe Nathan. Hot dogging it. Strikes out Mark Hotze. That is your ball game. That was filthy. Twins win 4-3. They've won the last five games started by Santana. Nathan hot dog. It's all about Nathan. He's no ordinary Joe. Pitching a perfect ninth for his 25th straight save. Hasn't allowed a single earned run in his last 24 appearances. In fact, he's allowed only five earned runs all season. His current 0 0.89 ERA is one of the lowest single season ERAs in the last 84 years. Rangers and Orioles hooked up at Camden Yard. Scott Erickson with some strong words about facing his former team in his Texas debut. He says, I wish I'd gone out there and made 35 starts a year and finished my career here. The Orioles just totally gave up on me. Saturday's ball game, bottom first, no score. Miguel Tejada versus Erickson, and Tejada didn't give up on that one. David Newhand scores. Tejada's 100th RBI of the season in just his team's 108th game. That's an Orioles team record. Top third, Rodrigo Lopez to Rod Barajas. And Lopez's son says, my dad went six and two-thirds, gave up just two hits and struck out seven. Bottom third, Orioles up one nothing. Man on for Rafi Palmero. That'll be good for a double. Extra base hit number 1,139 of Palmero's career. That ties Ty Cobb for 10th all-time. Orioles win it 3-1. They've won five in a row. What about the fading Red Sox calling on Pedro for a visit to Detroit? Pedro, 4-0 in eight career starts versus the Tigers. Alex Sanchez, bye-bye. Omar Infante, just another victim right there. And then Carlos Guillen whiff. 
Pedro strikes out the first five Tigers he faced. Manny out with the flu, but David Ortiz back after that five-game suspension. Live and large. Right there, the single. Kevin Euclid scores. And then Ortiz caught in a rundown, but it works out A-OK. -okay. As Gabe Kapler scores. Seven, two Red Sox. More than enough for Pedro. Eric Munson denied. Pedro sets a new Red Sox record for double-digit strikeout games. 69, passing the Rocket. Red Sox win by three. Kansas City now, Angels and Royals hooking up there. Bartolo Colon has won five straight starts going into this game. He had never won six straight starts in his career. You see his first 17 starts against his last five. Bottom of the first, Colon gets Mike Sweeney swinging. And then later, just so Sweeney really understands, he gets him looking. Colon finishes with seven strikeouts, eight hits, four in runs, and six innings of work. Bottom eight, two on two out for John Buck. That's a drive, but... That's a dive. Ooh. Vladimir Guerrero with a great catch. We may have to see him later on in the show. Bottom of the ninth. First and second for Sweeney. Angels dialing up five, four, three, and that's the winning number in the pick three. Angels win at seven, five. They won six of eight and three in a row. All right, Stan, the AL wild card picture after Saturday's games. It's getting closer. Rangers lose while the Angels and Red Sox both win. They are now both just one game back. The stars always come out in L.A., including the B-list. Yes, Bob Saget. He did host America's Funniest Home Videos. Wow, you put him on the B-list. That was courtesy to do that. And, and Sean Green, the little flair. Jimmy Rollins, no problem. What's going on with Milton Bradley? Take another look. Bradley running hard. The man is in that zone that you read about. Innings over. Doesn't matter. Got doubled up. <laughs> Paul Abbott noticed that. Bob Saget. Yes, full house fame. Bottom six. Say who you call him B-list. Bases are full for Milton Bradley. Abbott, wow. one of nine walks. Bradley had four walks. That forces in a run. So much for the full house. Bottom seven. And what about the outhouse? Sean Green not in it. Cash money. First home run in 14 games. Dodgers up 5-0. Gagne collecting one out for his 33rd save. Pirates went to San Diego to take on the Padres. It's David Wells facing Kip Wells. First starting pitchers with the same last name to face each other since 2000. So, David, let's play. How well do you know your Wells? Which Wells is from San Diego? That's the first question. David Wells? Nicely revealed there for waited. Like Which Wells attended Baylor? I'll say Kip Wells. What about Don Wells from Gilligan's Island fans? Which Wells pitched for the White Sox? David Wells. Oh, they both did. Oh, we got you. You got me. Top first, one nothing. Pirates. Ty Wigginson with a double off David Wells. That'll score Craig Wilson. Pirates up 2 nothing. David Wells, seven innings of work, ten hits, two earned runs, five Ks. Bottom six, Pirates up 2-1. to one. Kip Wells strikes out Phil Nevin. And all's well that ends well for Kip Wells. Eight in the third, four hits. AL Central, something's got to give on the south side. 3 nothing for the Tribe until Roberto Alomar. Yeah, that's gone. Number 210 in his career, probably a Hall of Fame career. We are tied at three. Fireworks are going off. Three batters later, Carl Everett facing Cliff Lee. No one on, two outs. Hits it deep, and... Deep in the left field. Stretch! Gets back, looks up. You can put it on the board. No! No! I have been waiting my whole life for that. Yeah, hold the fireworks off the top of the fence. Back in the play. That's a double. Next up, Juan Uribe. Joey Cora with the call. Come on, Walt. I was out of here. That's it. You can put that on the board. Yes! <laughs> Uribe's 15th over stuff. the year. Yeah. Everyone likes it except, well, except Cliff Lee. Same score, top nine. Matt Lawton against Mr. Zero. Oh, go. no. Tatsu, and that is a game winner right there. A three-run job. Indians clip the White Sox. Brewers and Marlins took it up in Florida. Jack McKeon looking for his 900th career win. Bottom first, one out, bases loaded, no score. Jeff Conine with an opportunity. And we have seen this before. Earlier this year, Conine with a second Grand Slam this year, his seventh of his career. Marlins going to win at 5-zip. Jack McKeon gets number 900. He said of Greg Maddox, I can always remember this day. I got mine the same day he got his. Astros, Expos. Astros flirting with 500. John Roush standing tall, 6-11, and center of attention in this highlight. Nick Johnson, nice stop right there on Jose Vizcayano. Roush falls down. Vizcayano jumps over. That little twist towards second costs him as Anar Diaz tags him out. Vizcayano can't believe it. Another look. Watch Vizcayano. Little tip to second right there. 
You commit to second, you better be on a base. That is against the rule. Phil Garner, livid. He gets tossed. Do not read lips. Yum says, don't poke me. And then Garner plays a little peekaboo. You go get there. Jeff Kent for him. You better watch out. Yeah, 8-3 <laughs> Expos win. Strohs fall to 500. Not cool. Here's how it stacks up. The NL wild card. Cubs are now two games up in the wild card as the Padres lose. Giants three games back, while the Phillies drop to four games back. Marlins, while they're the defending champs, they know about the wild card. They had it last year. Let's look up in St. Petersburg. Seattle manager Bob Melvin upset about something before the game even starts. We go back to Friday. Umpire Paul Emmo awarded Carl Crawford a free trip home with a rare obstruction call on Jose Lopez. That was a winning run. And back to Saturday. I don't think Melvin forgot about it, and he didn't have to work at all. Got an early shower. Top second, Mariners up 1-0, 2 on. Mark Hendrickson to Miguel Olivo. Advantage Olivo, his 10th of the season. Mariners going to win at 5-2, even without their skipper. Each row, 2-5, two, two doubles and a run. How about Junior and the Reds trying to tap the Rockies with a hookup at Coors? Junior, though, a spectator that saw Hammy getting the best of them. Major League home run leader, Adam Dunn. No doubt about this one. Bye bye. Game tied at 334th of the year. Bottom six. Remember, there's no Larry Walker, but there is a Jorge Piedra called up from AAA. There is your hero. Two RBI in his first at bat. Rockies win 9 5. Red starter Paul Wilson now winless in his last five starts. David Newhand, the shot. Lance Nick says, give me that. No regard for his safety and no regard for the Orioles, but they still win it 3-1. to one. You want no regard for safety? Alex Sanchez loses the bats. This guy doesn't look out. He says, souvenir, please. What a grab. Are you crazy? Perhaps. It's a souvenir, though. Number eight, Asselino Freitas and Diego Corrales. In the eighth round, Corrales drills Freitas, and he goes down. Then in the ninth, down goes Freitas. He would get knocked down again in the 10th, and he refused to continue. That knows when he had enough. Corrales, the new WBO lightweight champ. Number seven, Browns, Bills, Willis McGahee. Who? Yeah, Willis McGahee. He's healthy, and he's scoring touchdowns, four of them to be exact, in his first ever NFL practice. Number six, Brewers and Marlins, Mike Mordecai shot up the middle. Craig counts with a diving stop. He's getting Mordecai at first. Marlins win at five zip. Number five, Whitney Handicap. There was a photo finish in Saratoga Springs. Perfect drift and roses in May. Roses in May, unwavering determination. Perfect drift is surging. Short lead. Roses in May, dead game. Here's the wire. Roses in May in a spectacularly game performance to win by a nose over perfect drift. It was home for third between. Roses in May by a nose. Nicely done. Number four, Omar Vizquel flashing the leather first. He robs Carlos Lee with a great diving catch. Next batter is Paul Canerco and Vizquel. Says, I got something for you, too. Indians win at 6-5. Number three, someone called Taco Bell because this long-haired chihuahua named Bear sharing up patients at the Alliance Community Hospital in Ohio. <laughs> like the little bike right there. Number two, Mets and Cardinals. Jose Reyes with the bunt, but Woody Williams quick off the mound, and he makes the play from his knees. Take another look at it. Cards win it two to one. Woody Williams extreme, but the number one play, X Games, taking it to new heights on Saturday. Takeshi Yasutoko does, there's the Viking flip, and he also changed his double flip. Oh, yeah, big double Viking flip. <laughs> Unbelievable. Takeshi Yasutoko doing what we would expect and blowing this ramp away. Sports Center's top 10. Brought to you by Mazda, always the soul of a sports car.